I'm Aaron from Phonedog.com and this is the Motorola Electrify M on US Cellular and it's part two of a full video review. Can this thing compete with the big boys? Let's go find out. It's part two of a review of the Motorola Electrify M on US Cellular. Now this thing looks a lot like the Motorola Droid Razor M and that's because it, for the most part it is the Motorola Droid Razor M. It's packing the same specs, pretty similar design here, save for some US Cellular configurations or some changes if you will. That silver chrome on the sides, a textured silver back instead of the black back on the Motorola Droid Razor M. A little bit different around the camera, but overall, or overall, overall, but also overall, uh, very similar to the Droid Razor M. Specs wise, just to give you a quick recap, 1.5 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon S4 CPU, 4.3 inch AMOLED display, 540 by 960 pixels, eight megapixel camera with 1080p HD video recording, one gigabyte of RAM, 2000 milliamp hour non-removable battery. Let me see how many times I can point in this video before the YouTube commenters are like, stop pointing, you look stupid. Anyway, Android 4.0 with Motorola's user interface as well. So this device has a lot to like and it's coming in with a nice form factor. So people that want a phone that, you know, it's not too big. It's got a decent sized display, but it's not gonna be crazy in the hand. You can fit your full hand around this, travel from one side to the other pretty easily. And it's packing a relatively new version of Android and is actually being upgraded to Android 4.1 as we speak. This is your device. Let's take a look at the browser here. Now notice I'm on 3G. This is roaming right now. I'm not in US cellular coverage area. The Dallas Metro is not, I repeat, not a US cellular coverage area. So take the data speeds with a grain of salt when I go into the browser here, but you'll notice there's no stock browser. Chrome is the default now out of the box and I have swipe turned on from part one of the video review. Now I love Chrome. I think it's one of the best, if not the, the best mobile web browser out there. Really impressive all around. Love the transitions, love the way it looks. Portrait of landscape easy to use all around. I can go into phonedog.com right now. Pinch to zoom, responsive, everything's pretty good about this browser. You can see when I hit the menu button up top, I've got back, forward, favorite, and then all the different options down here at the bottom. Now you'll notice the on-screen buttons stay on screen here and on YouTube as well. Show you this just for a second. We'll go ahead and set this up. I want to take a second to shout out to our buds at Best Buy Mobile for giving us devices like the Electrify M and actually some Note 2s as well for use in our One Paul Bandit giveaway game. When you walk into Best Buy Mobile, you'll walk out working, they'll get your email, your web set up, and better yet, if you're an internet browser and you like to buy stuff online, you can buy it online and pick it up in store at Best Buy Mobile. So you notice, and bear with me here, YouTube is loading up. We don't really have to even watch the video. You'll see that the buttons go away in landscape mode. Then when I flip to portrait mode, they're right back and it's pretty easy to go back and forth. And of course, this is relatively customizable. You can move stuff around. If you don't want text messaging, but you want Chrome down here, you can do the same all around on the device. Personalization wise, it doesn't offer as much customization as TouchWiz, since all the different platforms out there on the market, but it does have quite a bit to like all around in terms of you know smart actions and the way that it looks and the way that it feels. And that is pretty impressive. Let's take a look at camera as well. Eight megapixel camera on this device, 1080p HD video recording capabilities. I did not hit camera, I meant to hit camera. And overall, you'll find that Motorola's user interface when it comes to the camera is mostly unchanged. I mean, this looks a lot like the Droid 3 and all the different Droid, uh, Droid devices rather that have been out for some time. So we'll bring in the Nexus 4 so you can take a look here. Eight megapixel camera, it's pretty decent. It's nothing too exciting, nothing too crazy. But I'll go into Nexus for example, we'll take some pictures some pictures and that one was pretty blurry let's see what we can do over here bam there we go so nexus here pinch to zoom pretty responsive and overall the image is relatively clear now this thing to me doesn't hold a candle to other devices on the market like the galaxy series the s3 the note 2 the one x plus the uh, HTC One with its new camera, I've worked with it. It's absolutely fantastic all around. So I mean, you know, you put you're putting this up against industry heavyweights like that. It certainly can be a challenge. So keep that in mind. Otherwise, you know, if camera's not your thing, or if you know you take pictures but you don't really care that much about camera, you know, your features or your focus rather is more on size or you know a nice decent device in US cellular, this could be a great choice for you. And last but not least, Quadrant Standard to run a benchmark test to see how this thing performs. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind. The 2000 milliamp hour battery is non-removable. So if you're looking for somebody or something rather to replace it with when it dies, or if you're looking for somebody to replace it with too, you know, go get a friend. But if the battery dies, 
and you don't have a charger, you're out of luck, you can't replace it. That said, the battery's been pretty decent on this. It's hard to tell, though, because I'm in a U.S. cellular roaming area. I'm not in a native coverage area, number one, and roaming historically drains the battery a little bit faster than other methods. This also is a 4G LTE device in U.S. cellular, and since I'm not in a native LTE market on U.S. cellular, I can't accurately tell you how the battery is performed. That said, on roaming and on 3G, I found it to be reasonably decent. I was getting about nine hours with moderate use, nine to ten hours of moderate use, and moderate use for me is talking, texting, uh, Google Play, you know, getting on the internet, things like that, uh, browsing a YouTube video from time to time. That said, I didn't do a whole lot of that because 3G uh, is pretty slow when you're used to 4G LTE or HSPA Plus on T-Mobile. But call quality has been decent as well. Motorola does a great job with wireless radios, and it continues over on the Electrify M. But what I really like about this, the real value here is the size. 5,189 on Quadrant Standard. So all in all, pretty decent score, though it doesn't have one, or doesn't have two gigabytes of RAM. It has one gigabyte of RAM. So keep that in mind if you're looking at perhaps the Note 2 or the S3 in the US or the Droid DNA on Verizon or the HTC One. All these devices have two gigabytes of RAM. And so that's something to keep in mind. They do run pretty smooth all around. And some of these even have quad-core processors in the U.S. So if you're looking, maybe you want to spend a little bit of extra money. But what I like about this device is the size. You know, we've seen all too often these devices are getting up in the 4.7, 5-inch, 5.3, 5.5-inch range. They're huge. And that's great for a lot of people. But for those people that want a smaller device, this is going to be a great choice for you. It's 4G LTE capable in U.S. cellular markets that support LTE. It fits well in the hand. And it offers a decent blend of performance. So somebody that wants a reasonably fast device but wants it in a smaller size can get it and not have to sacrifice too much performance. Keep it locked on PhoneDog.com for continuing coverage of the Motorola Electrify M on U.S. Cellular. We'll have continuing coverage, dog fights, and more, so stay tuned for that. Hit me up on Twitter as well, PhoneDog underscore Aaron. Facebook, Facebook.com slash Hi Aaron Baker. Let me know what you think of this device or what you'd like to see covered in future dogfight videos or future videos in general on PhoneDog.com. Thanks so much for watching. Keep it locked on the site for continuing coverage, and as always, we'll see you next time.